reach. You have 10 seconds to enter the passcode, or this vehicle will self-destruct. Thank you for choosing the Braxa security software, incinerating intruders for three centuries. Nine, eight, seven, self-destruct, overridden. This is an awful lot of security for a Tiji spacecraft. Awaiting command. Tell me everything you can about the gunslinger. File not found. Ah. Please choose from technical specifications, flight recorder, personal files, maps and charts. Personal files of Dr. Carla Jax. Names of deceased subjects can be found on the drop down menu. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy. He really should have followed the plan. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I know who you are. And who Jex is, too. No. What I don't understand is why you haven't just walked into town and killed him. People will get in the way. Look, you want justice. You deserve justice, but this isn't the way. We can put him on trial. We can... When he starts killing your people, you can use your justice. Isaac says he doesn't care about my past. The things may have been uncovered that even he might struggle to forgive. So it's best we beat a hasty retreat. We? I I I'm coming with you. It's unlikely the gunslinger will shoot if I'm with you. As far as I can tell, he's programmed to take innocent lives only if absolutely necessary. Oh, well, can I be reassured? <laughs> what are you doing? No more warning shots. I'll kill the next person to step over that line. Make sure it's jerks. It was stupid of me. I realize that now. I just thought I'd put you all in enough danger. Perhaps if I let... Lying! Every word. Everything he says. It's... Somebody want to tell me what is going on? The gunslinger is a cyborg. A what? Half. Oh, this was getting quite gritty, wasn't it? The gunslinger is a cyborg. Uh, this reminds me of uh, the gunfighters <laughs> back in Billy Hartnell's day. It's funny, isn't it? Some of the stories in this season seem to sort of hark back to earlier ones. We had dinosaurs on a spaceship, didn't we? Sort of you know, introducing the concept of dinosaurs again, which hadn't been seen since Invasion of the Dinosaurs. But uh, yes, strong performances there, I thought, from all involved. Um, very sort of gritty and gripping performance from uh, Matt Smith, wasn't it? I loved all the location filming in this one. A Town Called Mercy. I believe there might have been a big Finnish audio by... A uh, similar name, or perhaps even the same name, starring um, Maggie Staples. It might have been a companion chronicle, I believe. Um, but yes, that Dr. Jex character had obviously been um, responsible for um, a massive genocide, I think, if memory serves. And of course, this brought out that sort of really raw anger in the Doctor, which uh, Matt Smith uh does so well um 
I loved all that sort of incinerating intruders for three centuries gag that we got from the um, the the ship there. I thought it was nice to have that little bit of humour before the rather um, unpleasant revealing of the um, of the mass uh, well murders. Um, but um, yes, very sort of um, interesting themes in this one. Some very dark themes. And um, I thought the the guest cast were were very impressive too. And I liked the gunslinger's outfit. I thought the the makeup and the costume of the gunslinger was very convincing, very good. He looked like the Terminator, didn't he? You know, really sort of, uh, had such a degree of presence about him, um, didn't he? Um, yeah. I think um, I can't quite remember what happens in the end, but I think the gunslinger actually spares the lives of the of the village. Uh, but I think there might have been a dilemma in this one for the doctor to to wrestle with, involving um, Doctor Jex. But um, yes, yeah, another interesting one, which I think fits very nicely into the season as a whole. A town called Mercy. I must look up and see if Mercy is an actual place on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs>